Imagine failing a check ride and thinking it's over, but then going on to achieve all of your wildest dreams in aviation. Today, I'll share a story of a pilot who did just that. And we're gonna talk about how to take this setback and turn it into some of the most powerful fuel for your aviation success. Hey aviators, welcome back to the channel, Brad Takes Flight. Today, we're gonna to dig into a topic that most pilots dread, but nearly all will have to deal with at some point, a check ride failure. Now I've been there. I'm part of the 6149 gang. If you don't know what a 6149 is, that is the endorsement that you will have to receive after a check ride failure that you have been retrained on the things that you failed during your check ride and are ready for your second attempt. Now I'm speaking from experience and I know that a check ride failure can be tough, but I'm not alone. And if you've had a check ride failure, you're not either. And we can prove that with statistics from the FAA themselves. In 2023, the first time pass rate for the private pilot's exam was 74.6%. Commercial was 79% and CFI was 76%. Now this doesn't even include additional add-ons like your multi ratings or instrument and additional CFIs as well. Now my brother is a calculus teacher and is really good with probability stats. So I asked him, what was the likelihood if you just took these three check rides with these three passing ratings, what's the likelihood that you would actually pass without any failures? And the chances of you getting through all three of these tests on your very first try is less than 45%. That's right, it's less than a coin flip. But here's the thing, it's not about the setbacks, it's about the comebacks. So today, I'm gonna to give you five things that you can do to turn this check ride failure into one of your biggest step forward in your aviation career. First up, let's talk about your mindset. It's very easy to think of a check ride failure as just that, a failure. But instead, think of it as an opportunity for growth in your aviation career. Every great pilot has faced challenges. It's part of the journey. So let's change those F words from failures to feedback. That'll help you see what you need to improve on without beating yourself up over it. With a growth mindset like that, you'll be able to accept every challenge that comes to you. And it's that type of mindset that makes great pilots. Next, you need to be seeking feedback. Remember that constructive criticism is your friend. After a failed check ride, it's easily to feel defeated. But this is when the feedback from that check ride is its most critical. Instead of replaying that mistake over and over in your mind again, ask the examiner what you can do better. Ask your examiner for specific points on which you can improve to be successful on your next check ride. Constructive criticism can be hard to hear at times, especially when you've gone through something as emotional as a check ride failure. But it's that feedback that's going to be the stepping stone to your improvement and a pass on your next check ride. And just remember, they're giving you pointers on how to become a safer and more proficient pilot. We've got our feedback. It's now time to create a plan. Now it's time to get our 6149 retrain endorsement. Set very specific and realistic goals for your study plan. And it doesn't matter whether it's to work on maneuvers, checklist procedures, or decision-making skills. A well-structured study plan and retrain program is gonna keep you focused and it's gonna help build your confidence for the next check ride. This is because you've received that specific feedback and you know you are actively engaged in improving as a pilot. Remember, most check rides is just one small step that you need to make in order to get that pass on the next go around. Let's be honest, a failed check ride can hit you really hard emotionally. Anxiety, stress, fear, all of these emotions can come bubbling up to the surface and even become a bit overwhelming. But rather than letting these emotions hold you back, you need to work on managing them. I've created an entire video on overcoming that anxiety before a check ride. You can check that in the description below. Techniques like deep breaths, visualization, and talking to other guys in the 6149 gang can all be ways to help you overcome some of these emotions. Feel free to leave me a comment down below because I know exactly what you're going through. The goal is to turn this nervous energy into focused energy. Don't let these emotions stop you from pursuing excellence. Let it sharpen your skills. Because this brings me to number five, and that is to work on your resilience. And one of the best examples of resiliency in aviation is the story of the legendary Bob Hoover. Early on in his training, Bob really struggled with his fine motor skills as well as energy management. Many of Bob's instructors didn't ever think he would really become a successful pilot as they just couldn't seem to help him get past these hurdles. Rather than giving up, Hoover doubled down on his practicing and he turned these weaknesses into strengths. Not only was Bob Hoover a war hero, he also became a legendary aerobatic pilot, 
known for his dead stick skills. If you're not familiar with the term dead stick, it means that you are performing maneuvers without any engine. Bob would perform loops and rolls and landings all without any engine, showcasing his fine motor skills and energy management in ways that few others on the planet could. His story of resilience reminds me that it's not just about surviving these setbacks. It's about finding strength within them and becoming even better because of them. So whether you've experienced a check ride failure or not, these are all tips that you can use to become a better aviator. The five strategies of a growth mindset, seeking feedback, setting realistic goals, managing your emotions, and being resilient are valuable for all pilots in all situations. And if you've ever felt like giving up, just remember Bob Hoover's story. And just remember, our greatest challenges can become our greatest successes if we're willing to learn from them. If you've got a checkride experience that you'd like to share, don't forget to leave that down in the comments. If you found value out of these five strategies, hit that like button for me. And you can always click right here to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like more tips and insights, you can check out the entire playlist right here. Thanks for watching. Good luck in your next checkride. And remember, keep the grass off your wingtips, aviators.